Hi guys and welcome back to More Than Cars YouTube channel. You join me today at Redline. Something very special is going to happen in the next 15 to 20 minutes when TGE, yes Tom Exton, turns back up at Redline because I've bought something, I've bought something rather special and here is the time to reveal what it is. I've bought Tom's car. Well, I've done it. There we go. The handover's happened. And I imagine you've probably watched it on TGE's channel because, uh, well, I've been too excited to uh, film anything else. But here it is. Tom's old SV is now in my lovely hands, ready to uh, go and use her on track. Or shall I say driver to work, but no, like uh, Tom's channel said, I'm going to take this car on track and actually use it properly um, and see uh, what the, all the fuss is about, basically. Will you stay with me? Mr. Turbo Transport himself. That looks absolutely epic. <laughs> absolutely epic. So Mr. Turbo Transport himself has just dropped this off after I've collected it from TGE at Redline um, and I've just taken it for a little spin around the block. Now obviously I've been in conversation with uh, Tom for quite some time about this car. I actually messaged him um, well over a year ago when he first collected this um, to actually say that this is the spec I was after. This was legitimately the spec I'd been hunting for. So to actually buy it off him nearly a year later after he's enjoyed it uh, and now it's effectively my time to enjoy it. Um, I'm sure you've completely seen Tom's spec as he's shown it you but I am going to do it again because it is now my, uh, it is now my car. Um, but quite honestly, I, I've never driven an Aventador. I drove an Aventador S on track in Imola, thanks to Lamborghini Leicester. However, I've never driven an SV before. So let's have a little look round and I'll explain my initial thought process of this car. My goodness, I'm impressed with it. Excuse the uh, lighting and such. It is, uh, it is now uh, quarter past 10. Uh, 10? What am I on about? I can't even read a watch. It's quarter past nine, um, so the light is going. I haven't got long. But I am so impressed with this car. There's so much drama when you drive it. Um, it's obviously single clutch, very clunky, uh, if I can use that word. But actually, when you accelerate and drive um, in it, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, now, obviously this has been explained on his channel, but I am going to explain it again. When he originally bought this car, these, uh, the centre lock was actually red uh, and the caliper was yellow. Now, from factory, you can't actually get black calipers. Um, so he had them changed to black and then the writing put in yellow. That actually, I think, works rather well with the carbon um, on the side, like louvres, uh, and the black and the black gloss everywhere else. It actually matches the car really, really, really nicely. And I think it does 
and I'm going to use an Archie phrase there, just look at it sat there. Look at that thing sat there. Now, as obviously as a joke, I have put Phil <coughs> uh, as a number plate because of obviously Tom's pista. I thought that was quite hilarious. And obviously if you've seen the collection video that's on Tom's channel, um, yeah, I think he was, he didn't actually realize I'd genuinely bought that plate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I am so, so happy that I've bought this car. It is everything in a supercar that I haven't found driving some of the other cars. Um, there is going to be a review of the new Evo coming to my channel very, very soon um, because that's, I've got some interesting points, shall we say, about the Evo, but looking inside, I mean, it's a special place. There is something so special about sitting in this car uh, and actually driving it. I, I've already, I've done 30 miles in it round the block. Uh, I say round the block, it was a very long block. Um, but I am absolutely blown away with how much drama this thing produces. Um, I mean, just the, the carbon everywhere and the kind of carbon on the doors. Um, and actually, I don't know if he did this or it was done for before he collected it, but everything, if it focuses, everything is PPF'd. Every single bit of this car has got PPF on. So it fills me with massive confidence to um, effectively go and enjoy it, go and enjoy driving what is, in my eyes, an icon. I certainly um, looked at these many years ago and thought, my goodness, like I would love to get behind the wheel of one of these and to be in a position nowadays that I've managed to actually get in this and to get in a car that like, you know, a year ago I was looking at Tom's channel and going, wow, like that car's amazing. Um, and to actually have his very car has, has, kind of, has kind of blown and distorted my mind a little bit. Um, I, I can't, I'm going to do a proper driving review with this. If you've seen in Tom's channel, I am going to take this on track. I've tracked most of the cars, or when it's been possible, I've tracked most of my cars that I've ever owned. Um, so actually take, to take this thing on track um, is, is quite honestly going to be epic, absolutely epic. Uh, I've got two mates of mine that have also got an SV who have tracked their SV that have said, like, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Um, and quite honestly, I, I, I am blown away just going around the block in this thing. I've revved it up a couple of times and its acceleration is quite honestly mind-blowing. Um, it, it really is quick like ridiculously quick and the way it kind of slaps you in the back of the head that is the kind of and I, I presume you can tell by my face like how unbelievably excited I am um, to finally have uh, an Aventador to actually finally have a Lamborghini that has literally blown my mind um, I love it I mean, I absolutely love this car. Quite obviously, I'm not going to use this every single day. It is a very special car. It needs to be looked after. It needs to be cared for. Um, but I've been blown away. With Thank you, Tom, if you're watching this, for making today quite special for me uh, at the collection. Um, thank you guys for turning up, those who did. I was, again, blown away for a Thursday afternoon. The amount of people who've actually taken a day off work to come and see myself and Tom collect, collect a car. Um, it really does blow me my, the support you guys give and if I can share a little bit of my driving experiences and if I can share the experiences with you guys, I, I will do. I mean, I, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, very, they're, they're taking the piss out of Shmi. I hope I don't look like Shmi. Or, actually, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I, I'm blown away. Absol absolutely blown away with this car. Um, I'm going to show you again inside. I mean, just the carbon on it is, it's such a drama. Even even coming to the door, the fact that the doors go up, uh, it, quite honestly, I, I think I've missed, I've missed doors that go up since the McLaren. I think that for me signifies a supercar. The fact that the doors go up, the fact that it's a bright colour, the fact that it just looks epic it looks absolutely epic um ah just i'm blown away I i've said that a million times but i hope i'm portraying and giving this car justice and the carbon seats and it's 
and actually I find these seats comfier they're rock solid and don't get me wrong they're not comfy but it, the way they're shaped it's actually comfier than the comfort seats on the new Evo um, again the driving review video of that car is going to come very shortly because like I said last time surprise surprise that Evo is not sticking around um, I've got it for a little bit longer don't you worry there'll be a couple of videos to come with it but it's not going to be a forever car where this if I can I think it will this this tickles something inside me that uh, is very very similar to the Aston Martin GT8 um, and they're both yellow um, I must I must very soon get the two next to each other because I think that next to the GT8 would look epic um, I want to say thank you, thank you for people who came, thank you for watching my channel, thank you for those who are subscribing, it means a lot, the channel's growing quite well at the moment and I'm a little bit blown away with the people who messaged me on Instagram. PhilDixon89, follow me on there, I do talk to absolutely everybody who messages me, it's blown my mind a little bit how connected and social car people are. Um, thank you very much for watching guys, please do subscribe to the More Than Cars YouTube channel, there are plenty more videos to come and some, and yet another, yet Yet another amazing car is coming to the channel very, very soon that, again, I cannot believe. So please do subscribe. Please smash this thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. There is going to be clearly a proper driving video to come with this. There is going to be an Evo video that might surprise some of you. Um, it's next, actually. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you very shortly for plenty more videos.